Join young people willing workers tonight at 5 p.m. in the sanctuary as we honor God in our teaching. Tonight's lesson title is The Word Builds from Acts chapter 20 verses 25 through 32. All ladies are invited to be at the upper room tonight at 6 p.m. for the second Sunday night sisters meeting to be held in the sanctuary. Get ready for a time of empowerment, growth, and fellowship with words of wisdom from First Lady Pamela Wooden. Men, please join us tonight at 6 p.m. for second Sunday night prayer. This particular prayer is critical as we prepare for the shift the Lord has made with our leader and the upper room church. Everyone is encouraged to meet us for Tuesday night service, August 15th at 7.30 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. The speakers will be evangelist Tracy Austin, minister Dennis Muir, and minister Tim McNeil. Make plans to support Bishop Wooden August 20th as he preaches at Davenport Temple for Bishop Leroy Jackson Willard. The church is located at 2575 West 5th Street in Washington, North Carolina, and service will begin at 6 p.m. You should also mark your calendars for the next NC Third call meeting to be held Saturday, October 21st at 9 a.m. here at the Upper Room. The Children's Church is in need of teachers for ages 4 through 11. If you are interested in serving in this rewarding ministry, please see Elder Curtis Terry or send an email to urchildrenschurch at gmail.com. The weekly announcements along with sermon content and online series are available on our YouTube channel, God First Official Page. Let's praise God as the Upper Room Church of God in Christ celebrates 37 years of ministry. Happy anniversary, Upper Room. Bishop Wooden is an awesome man of God, and I am thankful to have experienced all that I have through his ministry. I especially appreciate the themes that he gives us each year. One year, the theme was Only Be Thou Strong and Very Courageous from Joshua 1 and 7. That was the year that I stopped cowering in the face of what on the surface seemed to be insurmountable. The next theme, Pastor Wooden had us push back through the lesson of James 4 and 7. I had plenty of practice that year, and Satan did flee just as the word said. It was because of Bishop Wooden's leadership that I was ready for what came next. And that was because I was in the right place at the right time to hear the right word from the right preacher. Shortly before my father passed away, he shared visions of what the Lord has shown to him, which he described in detail. I'm excited to have witnessed a lot of those things come true over the past years, and I'm excited to see what comes next. I know that there's more for Bishop Wooden and for this church. Oh my, what a day, what a day, what a day. David said this, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to say to you, Bishop, happy 30th Pastoria anniversary. I am so godly proud of you, sir. Out of these 30 years, we have been a part of the ministry for 20 years. And in those 20 years, I have risen through the ranks of a minister, an ordained elder, and sir, I have been able to serve you as an armor bearer for 15 years. And for 15 years, I have been able to see you in the back, being able to pray for the saints, give us wisdom, give us nuggets, give us knowledge that we need to make me a better man, a better person, a better preacher, a better father, a better husband. And sir, I owe that to you. And I thank God for you. I just want to say to you, sir, stay on the wall and don't come down. We love you. And on behalf of the Price family, Juanita, Jordan, John Jr., and myself, happy 30th Pastoria anniversary to you, First Lady, and the First Family. God bless, and we love you.